That's what I chose to do. Okay, here's Justin Tuck, <laughs> Super Bowl champion, <laughs> great guy, financial genius. He is with us right now on the K Show. Justin, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you? I'm doing good, guys. How are you? We're doing very well. So let's break down Giants Eagles. I I know who you're rooting right. for. Who do you? How do you think this game plays <laughs> out? I mean, listen. I, 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 the Eagles. There's no surprise there. The Eagles have had our number, especially in Philly of late. Um, it's embarrassing to say, but I think I was on the last team that the Giants took down to Philly and won. Mm. Um, and I'm hoping it um, gets eradicated on Saturday or tomorrow. Um, I think if you, if you look at these, both these teams, and again, I'm now I'm now a fan. I'm not diving into the weeds like I was when I was playing. But I, if I if I'm if I'm just looking at them from naked eye, I, I say they both are they've headed in different directions since we played them or they played us in uh, in in MetLife. We seem to be, or the Giants seem to be a team that's playing, you know, you know, hair on fire. They're, they're, they're starting to gel as a team. They're playing their best football of the year at the right time. And the Eagles seem to not be. Now, that, that doesn't mean that they haven't went you know, this, this this week off and corrected some things and got a little bit more healthy. And then they come out and, and they look more like the team that, you know, deservingly so have the number one seed. But, you know, for what, I, what I've seen from the Giants uh, the last few weeks, it it makes me pause and think, you know, they have a shot here. Now, if I was asking this question two months ago, <laughs> no, I, I, would, I would definitely be saying that the Giants don't have a shot because they, they're not playing like a team. But, like, in these playoffs, teams show up. And I know the Eagles have a lot of individual players, but they haven't played like the team that, that they, they did previously. So I'm excited about this game. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. The big stat to me, Justin, 70 sacks for the Eagles. And... Can the Giants des design and is it all about just the offensive line protecting, or can Kafka come up with plays to use the aggressiveness of that Eagle defense against them? Well, I think it's twofold. I think it's you know the offensive line obviously has to play uh, a big time game and protecting the quarterback. They have to open up you know running lanes and, and holes for stay corner that running game to, to keep us you know able to keep them you know not make us one dimensional. If we get into some second and long and third and long and that's the ball game that we I don't think we that, that definitely gives the Eagles the upper hand there. But if we can stay in we stay in front of the chains, you know, get to these manageable situations where you can dial in the movement of uh, Daniel Jones and get him in and out of the pocket on some plays and, and keeping that team the Eagles team a little bit at bay for, you know, how aggressive they can be. I mean that's that's the game plan I think. So I think it's a little bit twofold. All right, so they're playing in Philadelphia. It is known as a very difficult place to play. So I want to ask you, Justin, does a, an opposing crowd, someone who's talking about your family and the bad things about your family, does it impact the way you play? I think that's an offense and defense question. For defense, I always wanted to go in with all these types. I actually enjoy playing in Philly and, and all these other in Oakland and all these places that are deemed to be rowdy for opposing teams. Uh, I, I would assume that the offensive side of the ball would probably answer that question differently. But Philly is by far, uh, I think, for opposing teams, the roughest place to go is for their fan base. Their fan base is lunatics, uh, and they and they let it be known uh, from. You know, I mean, obviously way before you get in the parking lot. But some of the things I've seen from seven-year-old kids when our bus was driving into uh, into the link, uh, I, I definitely haven't seen in other places. Um, so you definitely have to have your mind right going into that place. But I think it fuels you. I've always looked at it as, a, as, a, as a something that fueled me to play better. While, while trying to stay on brand, Justin, can you repeat or come close to repeating the worst thing that was ever said to you in Philadelphia? It wasn't even about saying, because like you know, you don't even really hear that. But like I've had, I've I've gotten I've gotten mooned by what looked like a seven year old. I've had um, <laughs> I've had um, <laughs> I've had a parent hand what looked like a. So this is the same kid, by the way. I've had a seven year old, the kid that looked like he's seven years old. His dad handing him a Budweiser to, to throw at our our bus. The kid had an arm because he hit our bus. Um, and and then proceed to give us the bird at the same time while mooning us. So that was it was like a father and son outing. Nah, that's it beautiful. Really it's a great Christmas story. Now, I just, yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> when, when you're sitting <laughs> on the bench, though, all right, and the offense is on the field, 
Can you hear specifically people saying things? Yeah, absolutely. And I can't, I mean, some of the stuff that I know that my, and my wife is from Philadelphia, by the way. I think, you know, I, I got the only um, beautiful, wonderful thing that, that Philly does. Wow, wow. <laughs> strong. Well said. And brought, and brought it to New York. So, um, but, I, you know, she's from Philly, so she told me stories of, of some of the things Listen, she grew up an Eagles fan, and some of the things that she told me, she told other opposing teams, and then some of the things that she told me that she heard uh, from uh, when she, you know, crossed over to the right side and, and started wearing the blue colors. Um, it's, and, you know, yeah, I cannot repeat some of the things that are popping up in my, in my head right now, but, I mean, listen, you guys are big boys. Like, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, When you look at these two teams, who do you think's the best um – D lineman between the Eagles and Giants overall. Who is there one guy who you think is absolutely head and shoulders the best? I mean, playing wise, right now, Dexter Lawrence has to be. I, listen, I'm just glad I'm not in Joe Shane's position where I have to figure out how to pay that guy because he has played lights out in the middle of our defense. And I would say, by far, our defense is MVP. So if I was picking one guy that's playing. At this time, the best football from a defensive line perspective, it, it would be Dexter Lawrence. But, you know, Philly has so many options that you can throw in there. You can throw in Reddit. You can throw in, you know, whoever from that matter. They've they, they played well across the board. Um, but if you ask me to pick out one person uh, on both of these lines, I'm taking Dexter Lawrence all day. Did you see this from Daniel Jones in the, the last three years that you've watched him? Could you ever envision this? No, I mean, listen, I think what I saw from Dexter Lawrence, I mean, uh, what I saw from Daniel Jones previously was a kid that, you know, you can see he had the talent. You can see he had the arm talent. You can see he was smart enough to pick up the, the offenses and, and, and what defense was doing for him. He just didn't really have the pieces around him, right? He, he had Saquon one year, and then Saquon just hurt. You know, offensive line has been, uh, you know, shuffling in and out. He's had different head coaches, different coordinators. Uh, and I know at the quarterback position, that's tough if you can't give him, you know, any, you know, uh, consistency when you come when you talk about those things. This year, uh, to answer your question, absolutely not. I didn't. I, I especially, you know, after, you know, Shepard goes down, you, you think about the, the, the wide receivers or the playmakers that we're having to um, rely on. I mean, some of these, kids, some of these guys were on the, on the team to begin with. Some guys were on the practice squad, and all of them have stepped up. And what they've done, and what Daniel has done over the last, you know, four to five weeks, I would definitely say has, has made him a lot of money in his offseason. So, yeah, I, I think he's, he's playing great ball right now, and he's not making a mistake. He's taking what the defense is giving him. He's utilizing all of his skill sets. Uh, maybe I want to see him run a little bit less than what we saw in, in – um, Minnesota, but, you know, I think he's playing great football right now. Now, I'm now, just curious, Justin, tomorrow night, how do you consume the game? Do you watch it with friends? Do you watch it just with your wife? How do you watch it? Uh, I actually have a client that has a suite in Philadelphia. Ooh. That's a huge Philadelphia fan. And I'm going to sit with him just so I can um, rag him a little during the game. So I'm going to be there. Wow. wow. See, that's That's awesome. Now, well, anyone's when you're walking through, and obviously you're probably going some VIP entrance as you're a big shot. If anyone sees a man of Justin Tuck's size and recognizes you, do you expect any slick talk from Eagle fans, or, or do they know better? Well, I think it will be twofold. I'll get slick talk back by, "Hey, man, I'm a big fan. Can I get a picture?" And that's always that always happens um, in Philadelphia. As long as I don't know why, I think I think. There's a mutual respect uh, because I said, you know, for me personally, I'm I hate the Cowboys, and I've let it be known that I hate the Cowboys. I obviously do not like the Eagles, but there's at least a, at least a mutual respect there because, again, I I, I found my bride in in Philly, so wow. there's love there. I went to different school in Philly, so they kind of like. I'm not saying they like me. That ain't the right word. I think they're looking at me like, you know what? If it was one person that we have to like kind of give a nod to, it would be you. So I think it's going to be a little bit of mixing of both. Of you know, I've been in Philly a lot, and they, uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit of slick talk backed by 
Now I'm a big fan. So, is, so is it, that's kind of how it goes. It, I don't know. This is a big game, so maybe they just go all one way. <laughs> who knows? Now, this, this is, I mean, I'm assuming this, Justin. You said you hate the Cowboys. You didn't like the Eagles. Now, Peter's a huge Washington fan, so it just sounds to me, Justin, like Peter, the Redskins were, they, they were nothing to you. Well, listen, there's, there's, here's an example, right? There's three uh, New York, I mean, NFC East teams in the playoffs and one team that's left out, and the one team is always left out. Well, that is, are we talking about the playoffs or are we talking about conversation? Wow. And, um, you know, I'll, 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 I'll be, I, you guys are pretty smart individuals. I'll let you guys figure out what I love it. About. I love it. I love it, Justin. That is incredible. Things are about to change, guys. <laughs> Things are about to change yeah. with new ownership, okay? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? How do you feel about the, the, the team name? Like, what's, what's your thoughts on the commanders? You know, it, it's grown on me. It was not my top choice. I wish they stayed with the Washington football team. I kind of grew to like that. I, I, uh, I agree with you. But, but as the year went on, I, I don't hate it. They, could they have done worse? Yes. But I think they should have just went with the football team. But we just go with communists here. Yeah, the commies. The commies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I think... I, I think the world of your president, I think he's an awesome guy, but that's the only thing I'm going to say nice about. Um, Jason's a, he's a hell of a dude. Yeah, hopefully he survives yeah, this. Now, I, 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 I wish he could have went somewhere else where I can truly root for him, but he's a phenomenal <laughs> dude. Would beating Philadelphia be tougher than winning in San Francisco? Uh, I mean, how both teams played their last time out, no. Um it's hard. Listen, it's, it's, they, both of these teams know each other, obviously. They, they, they play twice this year. They play twice every year. There's no, there's no, this is the type of game where there's no lining up and, and tricking you. It's, it's, um, mano y mano. The one that executes the best is going to win this football game. And I always like those games because it, it, it's easy for me to look in the mirror and, and, and all of our teams will look in the mirror and, and know this is the guy I have to beat. If I don't beat him, we don't win, right? And with Philly, uh, listen, we haven't played well against these guys for a long time. That's pretty blatant. So I, I think coming into this game, the Giants should be, you know, pretty squared away with what they need to do and how they need to do it to win the football game. When I look at San Francisco, and obviously I'm, I'm, I'm not hit, jumping ahead here, but I think they do so much more as far as movement and, and getting McCaffrey here in these spots and, 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 and Dabo in these spots. It's, it's, I think the game plan has to will take more of a precedent against a team like the 49ers. Philly, they're going to line up, know what's coming. It's going to be mono and mono, and like the toughest team is going to win. So I, I, I like I like this game for the Giants. Good stuff, Justin. Great talking Thanks, to you. Man. Enjoy the game tomorrow in the suite. Don't get into any trouble, please. Hope to see you at a Ranger game soon. <laughs> oh, my God. I, man, I'm working too hard. <laughs> I need to get your guys' job. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, go, right. Hey, don't go, say it too loud, Justin. Yeah. They'll give you our job. Ah. <laughs> Be good, Justin. Thank you. Well, listen, Thanks, man. man. All right. The Eagles have extended.